Today, we will be talking about the integumentary system. What is the integumentary system, you may ask? Well, this system consists of the skin, nails, glands, and nerves, and its main function is to act as a barrier to protect the body from the outside world. The skin, which is part of the system, is composed of three layers, which are the epidermis, made up of closely packed epithelial cells, the dermis, made of dense, irregular connective tissue that houses blood vessels, hair follicles, sweat glands, and other structure. The bottom portion, or the bottom layer, is the subcutaneous tissue, which helps connect the skin to underlying tissues, such as the muscle. You may be wondering if this system also works with other systems from your body. Well, it does. The integumentary system works closely with the circulatory system and the surface capillaries. This is because certain substances can enter the bloodstream through the capillary network in the skin. Patches can be used to deliver medication in this manner for conditions ranging from heart problems to smoking cessation. Another system could be the nervous system, which depends on your neurons embedded in your skin to sense the outside world. This is where your sense to touch comes in and initiates action based on those input. For example, when you stub your toe, nerve cells in the foot send signals up the leg through the spinal cord and up into the brain. The nerve cell connections in the brain sense these cells signals as pain. Lastly, another part of this system works closely with is the digestive system, which encourages the uptake of calcium from our diet and helps synthesize and absorb vitamin D. You may also be asking, well, does the integumentary system have any diseases or disorders that come with it? Well, the answer is yes. One of the common diseases is skin cancer, which mostly happens because of the overexposure to UV radiation, which can damage DNA and lead to the formation of cancerous lesions. The fact that cancer can also occur on areas of the body that are normally not exposed to UV radiation suggests that there are additional factors that can lead to cancer lesions. In general, cancer results from an accumulation of DNA mutation. These mutations can result in cell populations that do not die when they should. The treatment for skin cancer varies depending on the size, type, depth, and location of the lesion. Small skin cancer limited to the surface of the skin may not require treatment beyond an initial skin biopsy that removes the entire growth. Two of the disorders can include eczema and acne. Acne involves the clogging of pores which can lead to infections and inflammation and is often seen in teens. Acne is a skin disturbance that typically occurs in areas of the skin that are rich in oil glands such as the face and the back. Acne results from infection by acne causing bacteria. You can treat it by avoiding or controlling mild acne with non-prescription product, good basic skin care, and other self-care techniques such as washing areas with a gentle cleanser twice a day, avoiding certain products such as facial scrub and mask, which they tend to irritate the skin, which can worsen acne. You should also avoid touching or picking at the areas affected by acne because it can trigger more acne or lead to infection or scarring. The other disorder is eczema, which is an allergic reaction that manifests as dry, itchy patches of skin that resembled rashes. It may be accompanied by swelling of the skin, flaking, and in severe cases, bleeding. Eczema can be managed with moisturizers and corticosteroid creams depending on a type of eczema and severity. Treatment includes lifestyle changes, over-the-counter remedies, prescription, topical, oral and injectable medication, phototherapy, and biologic drugs. Now, it's time for some basic or known facts about the integumentary system. Here we go. Did you know that every month you have a whole new layer of skin? No, never knew that. The fact that we shed 40 pounds of skin in a lifetime is just shocking. Is it now? The skin also accounts for about 15% of your body's weight. I really don't care. An interesting fact. Your skin can send indicators through your whole body. Uh, like robots? Supposedly, the skin is considered as the largest organ of the body. 
I thought it was my small crippled heart. The skin also contains receptors for different kinds of responses. So machines. Well, the heaviest organ of your body is the skin. Nah. Comprising of the body, hair, nails, and skin, this system is one of the most important organ systems. I thought it was a heart. This system ensures protection to all the other organs, bones, muscles, and tissues in your body, but also successfully accomplishes a variety of other functions. I thought that was the job of the muscle. Did you ever realize that what you see on the body is just dead skin waiting to be shed while everything else can be found beneath the surface? No, never thought of that. And that just makes us to snakes. This system is what helps us regulate body temperature and maintain homeostasis. Your nails grow 5 millimeters per week. That's a weird fact you searched up. When you injure yourself, the skin is able to heal by absorbing the sun's rays to prevent the tissue inside from damaging. So we're going back to them biology studies with them photosynthesis. Bed bugs exist to eat our dead skin while sleeping. That is gross. Your eyelids have the thinnest skin. I thought that was hair. Hair grows one centimeter per month. Oh, there's a hair for it.